perhaps your mom or your grandmother told you, hey, you should not drink water before you eat or it's going to hurt your stomach. Hmm, is that true or not? Have you noticed that if you hear things multiple times from a lot of different people, some people believe it actually might be true? And I'm sure your mom and your grandma are great people, but maybe this is the advice you should actually ignore. And don't worry, I won't say anything to them. So exactly what role does water play when it comes to digestion? And is there the optimal time to drink water to help out with your gut? Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, trying to keep you happy and healthy from the top all the way down to your bottom so you can live your best life. In today's video, we're gonna talk about water and digestion. I will discuss exactly what role water plays in your gut health. And I'll give you four tips on what you can do today to help out with drinking water and improving your digestion. And I think you'll find number three quite tasty. Guys, let's talk about food. So to begin, let's talk about exactly what happens when you start to eat food. Let's say you're looking out there. Oh, I see seeing a mistake. Maybe a sundae, mm, so good. The actual seeing of that food gets your GI tract revved up. You start to salivate, start to produce enzymes. Oh man, things are going and churning. So when you first take that bite of that steak or that sundae, digestion actually starts not in your stomach, but in your mouth. You actually have enzymes to help break things down. As it's going down, it goes into your esophagus, where it goes into your stomach, where it whirls and churns, just like a laundry cleaner, where it just rolls your clothes and gets things washed. Same thing in your stomach, it rolls and churns your food to get it down to its most basic components. And when it goes from your stomach, it then goes into your small intestine, where the vast majority of the absorption occurs. This is where you absorb the fats, the carbohydrates, the amino acids, the proteins. About 75% of the food gets absorbed in the small intestine. And eventually, you poop it out in your colon. The whole process of eating food and pooping it out takes between 24 and 72 hours. So where does this myth of not drinking water before you eat come in? Well, it seems to be understandable. The idea is if you drink water before you eat, it's going to wash away your acid and your digestive enzymes to make it less likely for you to digest correctly. Now, this would be true if there's only a finite and fixed amount of acid. But guess what? That is not true. Your stomach and your body does an amazing job of adapting to what is going on. Your stomach needs more acid? Well, guess what? your body will produce more acid. It can respond to what it sees and what actually goes inside the GI tract. So even if you think you're washing away the acid, guess what? It's not happening at all. And another reason why drinking water before you eat doesn't affect your digestion is because water is absorbed so quickly. So even if you drink that glass of water right before you eat, within 20 minutes, the water's already absorbed into your body and doing the thing that it needs to do without impairing your digestion. And another reason why water will not affect your absorption is because those digestive enzymes, those juices inside your gut, don't attach to water at all. It only attaches to food. So no matter how much water you drink or add in there, guess what? Those enzymes are still doing what they're doing, breaking down that food, getting those nutrients, getting you stronger, and getting you the things that you need to live a healthy life. Water doesn't play any role whatsoever. So what role does water play at all? What's the point? Well, water, it not only is it good for your body, your body needs it, but actually with digestion, it helps to move things along. It lubricates your GI tract. It makes it easier for things to pass on through so you can absorb better, have better bowel habits, and improve your GI health. So here are four tips I recommend to improve your water intake. Number one, drink it all day. Yes, literally, I want you to drink water all day. Now, I know the mantra you hear out there is you drink, you know, six to eight cups of water per day. That seems a little bit hard for me. I like to have milestones to help you remember. And here's what I recommend for you. 
Number one, when you get up in the morning, have two cups of water. This is what I do. Number two, before every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, drink one cup of water right before you eat. And then lastly, right before you go to bed, drink two cups of water right before you go to bed. If you do this, this will give you enough water throughout the day. And if you want to sprinkle in more water during that time, perfectly fine by me. Now the amount of water you actually need can vary from person to person. Men sometimes need more water than women. If you're pregnant, you're gonna need more water. And if you're active, doing outside, getting exercise, you're gonna drink more water than somebody who is not doing that. Number two, drink coffee and tea all day, but skip that alcohol. Guess what guys? That water and coffee counts. Yes! It counts towards your water intake and it's good for you. But alcohol does not Alcohol actually acts as a diuretic, which means you pee out water and it counter affects the effect of the absorption that you need to get the amount of water to have a happy gut. Hey, I hope you're getting great value from this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below. Number three, flavor it up. I am all about adding flavor. Add some lime, add some lemon, add some other things to make it more, I don't know, happier, more yummier, whatever you need. Do what you need to add some flavor to that water to make it better for you as well. Number four, eat hydrating foods. About 20% of the water that we have actually comes from the food that we eat. So why not optimize that? Have the foods and the fruits that have a lot of water content to it. Things like watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, strawberry, celery, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Add this to your diet. Not only is it good for your gut, you're adding more water to help out with digestion. Here's what I want you to do. Since most of us are chronically dehydrated, Starting today, add more water. Whether it's drinking water in the morning, adding hydrating foods, having more teas to help you out, add more water to your diet. You're gonna feel better. It's gonna be great for your gut health. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in this video. So my question for you guys, have you tried to add more water? Has it helped? What tips would you have? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I wanna thank you for watching and don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks guys.